Hello there YouTube, this is Cactus Naga and here is my video on how to replace old carpet with tile. So we have all the tile down now, uh, the thin set has had a chance to harden up. The next step in the process will be to, uh, to grout, to add the grout down. Um, before we do that, I just wanted to show you um, that uh, there's going to be some certain spots, for example, right here, uh, right here there, uh, where the, the grout lines get filled up with uh, thin set. Um, that has to be uh, removed. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, use a few tools, um, a regular chisel, and maybe a hammer. This is a, a grout removal tool. Uh, this helps uh, quite a bit. Ten dollars at Home Depot. Uh, but I think the chisel and the hammer is going to to work the best. And uh, uh, let's see how it goes. I'm trying to move this first. This tool it works pretty good too. But uh, that's what I'm going to be doing next, uh, removing and cleaning up the grout lines uh, for grouting later on. So the grout lines are all cleaned and uh, it's ready to take on some grout now. Um, I've, I've chosen to use a darker grout, I'll show it to you right now, uh, mainly because it's uh, less of a maintenance problem and I'm gonna mix it up now. So here is the grout. It's, uh, it's called tobacco brown. Um, I'm gonna use a regular, just a trough and uh, a spatula to, to mix it in. Just add some water and uh, I'm gonna mix it to the consistency of uh, toothpaste and see how it goes from there. So here it is. I've been mixing for about five minutes now. It's uh, nice and smooth. Uh, I'm ready to put this down under the grout. So this is what I'm doing. I'm taking a little bit of the, the grout mix and I'm going to kind of push it into the grout lines like this. And once it's, uh, it's kind of done, I'm going to take um, this float here and um, kind of wipe it clean again. There we go. And uh, the process is going to continue and that's how it's going to happen and after a while when the, uh, the grout has dried a little bit we will remove uh, the excess grout uh, using a sponge and, and water. So this is what it's going to look like uh, after it has been grouted. Um, the sponge hasn't been applied yet. It's just waiting for the grout to dry up a little more so that when we put the sponge down, it doesn't come off completely. So here it is. The grout has uh, been wiped down with a sponge and water. And um, the grout lines are looking clean. Um, what's going to happen next is the baseboards are going to go up again. I'll just nail them in and uh, paint them, caulk them, and we'll be ready to go. So here it looks, uh, here's what it looks like. Um, the baseboards have been nailed down. I used uh, two inch brads um, every 12 inch or so. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to aim it, aim, uh, aim it a little low so that uh, the brad can actually uh, attach to the, uh, the two by four frame that is uh, behind the drywall. So here's the molding. Um, the, uh, the caulking has been applied just to make the finish look uh, a little bit better. And uh, next thing to do is paint over it and it'll be ready. So this is what the final product looks like. Uh, the baseboards have been caulked and uh, 
has been painted. It's looking pretty good. So hopefully you'll have fun with your tiling too. Take care now.